And the minor sensation here is we move now to the women's sprint competition at the semi-final stage. This is Tony Dubnikov walking away because Galina Enukina from Russia has not turned up. But not the case in the other semi-final as we watch now the orange jersey of Ingrid Haringer from the Netherlands. And she's taking on here in the other semi-final Natalie Evin of France. Haringer, the world champion in both the points racing and the sprints in 1991 third in the Olympic Games and now she comes up on the outside of the comparatively inexperienced former junior world champion from France who's keeping her high and riding her very well keeping her pushed up making her go the long way around the track here but now the speed of Haringer she gets the right to drop inside that red line the sprinters line walks away with it so she goes through into the final now where she'll face Tanya Dubnikov So we come to the final between Ingrid Haringer of the Netherlands and Tony Dubnikov of Canada. And this seems a nice time to tell you that the Canadians have never had a medal in women's sprinting before. And this young lady knows now she has at least a silver. Nothing to lose and everything to gain. She has a tough opponent though in the police lady here, Ingrid Haringer from the Netherlands. And this is the second match now and Haringer is one down. She must win this heat to force a decider. And Dubnikov, who has ridden well all season, and in fact, uh, she rode well towards the end of last year as well. She's promised something special. Now, she's one race away from the gold medal for Canada. So many people ask, why do they go so slowly when it's called a sprint competition? It is because the girl in the front wants the girl at the back in front because she wants the benefit of surprise. And the slower you go, the hope is that Ingrid Haringer will roll by and take the lead. But she's too canny for that. So for that reason, Dubnikov riding low on the track that knows now that the attack must come over her right shoulder while Haringer begins to use the banking of the stadium to build up a little bit of speed to make a run perhaps as we come off this banking Tani Dubnikov is a very clever lady she knows the tactics of sprint racing and she's now moving gently up the track to keep the Dutch girl right on the top Haringer still wants to use the track for speed she might well die for the inside here she gets the chance because they'll come round this time to the bell and Dubnikov is making a ride high and long as long as possible. Now she'll dive for the inside herself. The Canadian girl gets the inside, inside the red line. That's called the sprinter's line. Once you're in there, it's your property. Dubnikov has it. She's going to force the, you know, the Netherlands girl to go over the top long and hard. This could be a goal for Canada. And shoving up on the line. Tremendous finish there by Harrington. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. And the Canadian girl, Tanya Dubnikov, although they're calling for a photo finish, for my money, is the new champion of the world. And that is the first gold medal ever for Canada, and there's proof of that. I'm not surprised she's delighted, and Haringer, the first to congratulate her, a super result for Canada. And the King of Norway appreciating the marvellous ride there by Tanya Dubnikov giving a gold medal to Canada.